Anne is all excited. Well, she's nervous too. She is going to be sharing one of her recipes on the show today. So all the time I hear, we never get to see Anne. We see her hand every once in a while. Once in a while, we'll get a little shot of her. Well, you're going to see her up close and personal, all her wonderfulness, and she's going to share one of her favorite recipes. She's, it's a recipe she just keeps bragging about. So I said, enough, get on the show and make it. So today we've talked her into it. She's going to come on and cook with us in just a little bit. So I've um, cooked up some bacon. About six to eight strips of bacon that I'm just going to get out of the pan and get cooled a little bit. Use my paper towel and get up some of that grease. If you don't do bacon, you could certainly do uh, ham. You could also do cooked and crumbled sauces. So this is one of those recipes that it's all going to work out really, really easily. And the fun part is we're starting out, we're going to use actually um, a can of uh, refrigerated biscuits. This is called a bacon and egg pull apart. And um, it's just a fun recipe that I think even the kids could help with if you wanted to do, you know, special breakfast for mom. So we're starting out with two eggs. I love make ahead recipes like those, you know, French toast recipes or some of those breakfast casseroles that you can make them the night before, but sometimes you don't think about it or you just didn't get time the night before. So this is one you can just whip up at the very last minute. So two eggs, about a quarter of a cup of milk, and then just some salt and pepper. Season up those eggs. I'm gonna whisk that together. And we'll get back to that in just a little bit. Now we're going to take that tube of refrigerated biscuits and we're using the big ones, the big, the grand biscuits. And I'm just going to take those biscuits. and cut them into quarters. Remind everybody, book club meeting is Monday night, coming up in just a couple of days. Um, it's still not too late to join us, and the book is a real quick, easy read. So if you're not doing anything Monday night, go get the book today. We're reading a book called Orphan Doors by a local author. Her name is B. Seidel, and she, actually it's a memoir. Uh, she grew up uh, in an orphanage in the Green Bay area, so it tells the story of her life, and. Um, it really, really interesting read. Very quick read. You can read it this weekend, not a problem. And then come join us at La Java in Suamico, Monday night, Monday afternoon, I should say, 5.30. Uh, they're going to provide snacks. We can just get a coffee or a tea and hang out and discuss the book. It's going to be a ton of fun. Uh, so we're going to the La Java Suamico location. If you're looking for the book and can't get a hold of it, I know they have it at the St. Norbert College Bookstore. Um, you can also pick it up at either of the La Java locations, they have it there too. So please join us for book club. It's always a really fun time. All right, getting back to our refrigerated biscuits, I'm just gonna take a knife and cut those biscuits into quarters. I've got a smaller casserole dish that I'm spraying with cooking spray. And at this point, I'm going to take the biscuits and actually just drop them into the scrambled egg mixture. And I know this sounds weird, but it's a really fun recipe. Perfect for last minute, nice breakfast on Sunday or brunch or whatever. Sometimes it's fun to do breakfast for dinner, so that's even fun to do. And the kids will love to help with this. Okay. To this day, even Ireland, even though she's a teenager, loves, you know, just playing with the dough and hanging out in the kitchen with me. So I'm going to take a spatula and gently kind of coat that scrambled egg mixture, coat the biscuits with that. I've got some, about a cup and a half of shredded Swiss cheese. I'm going to take some of that bacon, 
cheddar cheese, excuse me. Swiss would work fine too. So I'm just going to take my hands and crumble up some of the bacon. As I said, diced ham would work. You could pick up some ham from the deli and dice it up. Uh, cooked crumbled sausage would work. Or you could do this vegetarian. You could do, you know, diced pepper and cooked asparagus would be nice and some diced tomatoes. So you can kind of make it your way. It's just more of the method. Okie dokie. My son Riley is done with college. His freshman year of college. So we're picking him up this weekend. I know. Can you believe it? It just seems like I was just dropping him off. Yeah. Yeah. They uh, had finals this week and so we move him out of the dorm uh, this weekend and uh, it's going to be an extra special Mother's Day. So good to have him home. I don't think we've seen him for about a month so or, or longer. So uh, it would be really nice to have him home for the for the summer. My daughter Ireland's really excited about it. She's it's been a tough year for her. She's all of a sudden an only child kind of in the house alone. So she's really excited to see him. So now you just basically take the dough and the egg and the cheese and the bacon. And you just kind of spread it out because remember it's gonna we want it in one layer. And you bake this in the oven, 350, takes about 20 to 30 minutes. Everybody's oven is different, so, you know, just uh, keep an eye on it. You want basically those biscuits to get golden, the cheese to melt, and the egg to set up. Um, and everything's right in here. This is why I love this breakfast. Uh, you can, you know, hit the grocery store and pick up a really nice fresh fruit salad. Maybe, you know, pick up some muffins, call it a day. Keep it a real easy, simple brunch. How gorgeous is this? And it puffs up. And it's fantastic. Is that pretty or what? Now you could certainly garnish the top with some chopped scallions, uh, maybe um, some chopped parsley if you wanted to. Anne's over here going, why would you ruin such a beautiful uh, breakfast buffet with your brunch bake uh, with, with onion? But uh, you know, so you could put a little onion on there if you wanted or in Anne's case. And because you're cooking with us today, we'll leave it off. How about that? Just for you. But this is a fun recipe. Now you can um, cut it into squares or you could, when it cools just a little bit, you can pull it apart just with your hands um, and serve it that way. Um, but it's a, a really a fun recipe that I think everyone will love with the bacon and the cheese and, and the egg in there and the biscuits. Um, and what a, a new recipe. So a fun one for you. And you can get the recipe. Um, on our website, fox11online.com. Click on the Living tab and Recipes, and they'll be right there. So why not take breakfast to the next level and make this for your family this weekend? It's that easy. Took us less, uh, well, eight minutes or so to make that, so it doesn't get much easier than that.